hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can create a class on google classroom so guys it's very easy to do just make sure you follow me to the end of this video to get it all and also if you're new to our youtube channel don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment as that will tremendously help grow our youtube channel so guys without any further ado let's get started so guys now the first step you have to take now is to get access to google classroom and for you to get started with google classroom what you have to do is either to download the google classroom app or to use the google classroom without the app that means using google classroom on your web browser so guys i've made videos on that on how you can actually download and install the google classroom app on your phone and also how you can actually use the google classroom on your web browser so guys go over to the description of this video you're going to see a link there that will teach you how you can get access and get started with using the google classroom so tap on the link after you're done watching this video then you learn how to download and install the google classroom app or how to use the google classroom without the app so guys now let's get started so let me tap on my google classroom app i'm going to be using the app for this tutorial today so let me tap on it so guys once you open up google classroom this is the interface you're going to see this is what it looks like you can see here yeah you're going to find all the class you've joined and all the class you've created so guys you can see what it looks like as you can see there at the top that's a class that's a class i joined here in google classroom but in this video tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how you can create a classroom here in google classroom so guys now the first step you have to take now in order to create a class in google classroom is to tap on the plus icon below there you can see down there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now you can see we have two options here the first one is join class while the second one is create class what you have to tap on is on the second option which is create class so guys let me tap on it you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys here you can see here is a privacy policy and security term of google classroom so what you have to do now is to take your time if you have the time to read through it so guys what you have to do now in order to agree to the privacy and security term of this google classroom is to tap on that box there can see that box where the arrow is pointing at what you have to do now is to toggle it or mark it so guys let me tap on it now let me mark it let me check it so let me tap on it so guys now you can see i've checked it so what you have to do next now is to tap on continue you can see there on the right hand side the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now you can see here's the next step here you have to give a detailed information about the class such as the description and the rest of it so guys now you can see we have four boxes that we have to fill here the first one is class name second one there is section the third one is room while the fourth one which is the last one is the subject so guys you have to fill all of these boxes but the most important one which is actually required for you to actually create a classroom here in google classroom is the first one which is your class name so you can go ahead to impute just your class name and leaving the rest of it blank it becomes important to fill all of these boxes including the section room subject if you're the kind of person that actually creates a lot of classroom so you can be able to differentiate between the classroom that you've created so if you have a lot of classroom and the students in your institution are actually numerous what you have to do is to fill all of the boxes including the section room subject and your class name that will enable you to differentiate between the classrooms so guys now let me go ahead now to impute my class name that's only what i'm going to impute so guys let me tap on where it is written classroom to impute it let me tap on it then let me type the name of my class um neuroscience neuroscience mrc so guys now you can see so guys after i've imputed the name of your class which is actually what is required to go over to the next step what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written create at the top you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now you can see it's loading let's just wait for a few seconds wow guys you can see we successfully created our class on google classroom you can see what is written here this is where you can talk to your class use this stream to share announcements post assignments and respond to questions so guys from here now you can decide to begin your class by posting assignments responding to questions and giving announcements on this class and also guys you can go ahead to edit your class details you can edit the banner of your class you can also edit the profile image of your class you can also begin to add students to your class so guys there are so many things you can do from here onwards i'm going to be making video tutorials on those particular topics like how to add students how to share class link and the rest of it so guys i want to end this video here so guys i believe you got value from this if you did make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment and also if you new to our youtube channel don't forget to hit the bell notification so that whenever i release a new video like this you're gonna get notified see you in the next upload bye bye peace